You do not know the power of the dark side. Join me, and together we can rule the internet as YouTuber and subscriber. Hey everyone, it's Harrison here. So, Disney just released uh, a little teaser for the next Star Wars movie. Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. D23 special look, and this is my reaction for it. Play. Gary Fisher, R.I.P. Oh, hello, beautiful. December. Okay, um, I think we have to go through that. Just, uh, okay, so shop by sh I'm just going to give you a descri description of what I'm seeing because obviously I don't have the technology where I can have the screen right here. Curse you technology. Why did I not, why didn't I pay attention more? <clears throat> Computer class when I was in high school. Anyway, so for the first uh, third of it, this thing, we have shots of the original prequel. Beautiful shots of the twin sons, of young Mark Hamill, young Carrie Fisher, young Harrison Ford, young Chewbacca, and young Lando, and R2-D2 and C-3PO, all the fun times. And then we have some shots of uh, the original, the prequels. Did I say original prequels earlier? I might, I might say the original trilogy. How dare I? Shame on me. Shame on me. I called myself a Star Wars fan and I mixed it up. Anyway, sorry. I'm tired, guys. <laughs> so then we have some shots of, uh, of, the, of, the, of the prequel trilogy. And then we have some shot, And then we have the shots of Rey and Kylo's hand touching on the, on the, original, on the original Jedi Temple planet. And now... Looks like we got some Imperial era Star Destroyers. I, you know what? I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. I prefer the I prefer the Imperial Star Star Destroyers over the First Order Star Destroyers. I think they look more intimidating. I mean, the Imperial. I mean, First Order Star Destroyers look like they've just been decapitated because they don't have the uh, the Conning Tower Bridge. You know, that's supposed to be a Conning Tower, by the way. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, and looks like Ray is getting even more powerful in the Force. By the way, yeah, uh, Ray being Ray, Ray having the ability to lightsaber battle right off the bat with absolutely no training. I don't know how I feel about that now that the nostalgia goggles come off. 
Looks like uh, she and Kylo are going to have a proper lightsaber battle. We heard the Emperor's voice. And Darth Vader breathing. And the last shot is of... Uh, is of uh, Ray with a double-bladed lightsaber double-bladed lightsaber that can flip up like a exact like a like a pocket knife. So, does this mean that she's going to be part of the dark side at the end and that Palpatine wins? By the way, how is Palpatine coming back? Be you know what? I'm going to think of it. We we didn't see, what we always saw was, was Anakin slash Darth Vader throwing him down the Death Star pit. And we just see him like, ah! And this, then boom, we didn't see the body afterwards. So, did he survive? Or is he going to be like some dark force ghost? I don't know, man. Ah! What is happening? Star Wars, you confuse me. I love you, but I hate you at the same time. But I love you at the same time. And you, uh, Oh, boy. Oh, well. Either way, I'm going to go see it on opening night. Although, will I go and see it in full costume? Or will I not? When I went to see... When I went to go see uh, Force Awakens, I went with my lightsaber. Not this one. I got this one about... I got this one a couple Christmases ago. I had like a cheap foam knockoff lightsaber. That was also red, so does that mean I'm a Sith? Does that mean I'm part of the dark side? Anyway guys, that's been my reaction. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit, hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, I have been your host, Harrison MacArthur, Draco Pendragon, slash Darth Vader mask guy. Bye, guys.